as many of you know, and as I stated on my Religious Laws Are Coming as Prophesied page, I started that page offline during the 2016 campaign because of what I saw going on between Trump and a few others wherein the talk of religion was ramping up in politics. And when Trump was elected, I made the page public on January 20th. And yes, all of us have seen a few political leaders over the years being moved to speak religiously, knowing when we saw that, that the prophecy was soon to be fulfilled. I mean, I recall many years ago where in Texas, Governor Rick Perry literally preached during his 2012 campaign, wherein he was demanding we ignore Jesus Christ and join the church with the state, even more so than it already was. And he did so claiming it was what Christ would have us do. And so, of course, as students of prophecy, we all watched very closely from that day forward to see when this prophesied event would finally come to fruition. That all being said, as you have been watching this video, I am sure you have been noticing the headlines that I've been posting on the screen. These are the headlines that are on my Religious Laws Are Coming page on the website regarding the religious banter, you know, between all the politicians, as well as all the talk of religious laws were in the media. And even the Pope himself are doing all they can to normalize all of it. But these aren't all the articles that I have that would make for one rather large video. But these few that I'm showing make their agenda crystal clear. I mean, as prophesied, religious laws are coming to America. And for those that can't see it, keep in mind that every prophecy regarding the end has been fulfilled exactly as prophecy said they would, with the exception of the last few. And yes, all their foundations have been set in stone so as to guarantee their fulfillment are very soon as well. That being the case... How on earth can anyone believe the final prophecies won't fulfill when all those that were to fulfill by now have come to fruition? I mean, how can hundreds of prophecies be so accurate and then the last few fail? No, that's not going to happen. And why do I declare the talk of religion in politics is a must for the prophecy of the mark of the beast to be enforced? Well, it's because the final prophecy is a religious law. Notice what it says in Revelation regarding the mark of the beast. Notice the word worship used to describe it. Each time the mark is mentioned in the word, worship is right there with it. That means the mark of the beast is in fact a religious law. And this is why we see the mixing religion and politics and then the media and, and all the churches that have already joined with the state in their long prophesied creation of the image of the beast in Rome, who actually owns and proudly promotes that mark. And to better assure they meet their prophesied task, notice how evil society has become in the USA. Political corruption from both sides of the aisle. Police brutality is off the chart. Mass shootings in and out of the schools. Drug addicts sleeping in the streets of all the cities. The homeless are now in the millions. Marijuana is legalized. Gangs are in every city. The crime rate is insane. Suicide is off the chart. The medical industry is corrupt. Marriages fail at 75% of the time now. Homosexual marriage is actually legalized. Tens of millions of babies have been murdered in government clinics. The Vatican literally owns hospitals that are killing babies right now. Catholic priests are molesting millions of children. Parents are beating their children to death. Children are killing their parents. Natural disasters of all sorts are happening every year now, and then animals, birds, fish, and insects are dying in biblical numbers. Pornography, violence, and occult symbolism in video games, movies, music, and even cartoons and commercials are now normal. Literally every aspect of society is utterly corrupt and drenched in sin. And so can you guess what's going to happen next? It's what we've been saying for years. Soon, in their desperation and in their blatant sinfulness, the political and church leaders in this nation are going to pick the wrong Jesus to worship so as to calm all the waters and to slow all these problems down, so they think. But it is then that the end will come. And just yesterday... Roman Catholic Vice President Mike Pence stated at the CPAC conference that all Americans must come together to confess our need for God. Religious laws are indeed coming very soon, and I hope all God's people are ready for the long prophesied trial that is about to come upon them. Thank you for watching. God bless.